Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. I Rev Hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you to take your Bible, turn with me to Hebrews chapter number 11. Today we'll look at verse 35. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together. Spend some quality time with the God of this universe. Well, hallelujah, what better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God. Well, friend, over in Hebrews 11, 35, the Bible said women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Friend, God has promised to us a better life, and I want to speak to you about that for just a few moments. You know, we're all called to bear the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, the Bible said they were first called Christians in Antioch because they were acting and walking and talking like Jesus. The Bible teaches us that God wants us to do the same. You see, the, uh, that's glorious news uh, to bear the image of Christ because we serve a Savior who's been raised from the dead and gives to us eternal, everlasting, and resurrection life. But it also means that just as this world hated to Him, that there are times that you and I may face difficulty. In fact, we may endure intense persecution as Christians all uh, through the ages. And if you look at history, that's happened. In today's passage, my friend, we read about believers who were told that they had only one choice. Reject, uh, reject the living ungodly and, uh, you know, you have the opportunity to live. Yet, uh, these people, uh, they were beaten, they were executed, uh, they were told to deny him, reject him, and turn away from him. And because they didn't do that, they were beaten uh, to, to death. You know, friend, you and I have uh, decided that Jesus means more to us than earthly life itself or to anything that this earthly life has to offer. You see, he's worth all the pain uh, that you may bear, uh, that his name may bring to you. If uh, you haven't suffered, I suggest you make the choice once for all time and make the commitment that if suffering comes, You'll carry on. Not only will it influence all the lesser decisions you have to make, but then your treasure really will be in heaven, and it will grow your love for the Lord like never before. You see, He's the goal of our life, and uh, He's the lover of our soul. And so we need to commit ourselves to Him forevermore, realizing that our trust is in Him because he is the way, the truth, and the way to true life. Pray with me. Father, thank you for reminding us that sometimes we may suffer for what we believe. Help us to be faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I hope you'll do just that and make a difference in your world. Let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.